Hi friends, it's Janice. Welcome back. I'm super excited to introduce you to the new 2026 digital planners. We have some new stickers, new ways to personalize your planner, new colors, and an overall design upgrade from the 2025 planners. This video will serve as a setup guide for iPad and GoodNotes. After your purchase, you should receive a download link in your email. If you downloaded the file on your iPad, you will need to locate the files application. Once you're in it, you'll need to find the downloads folder, which should already be there on the sidebar. This folder is where you will find all the files that you've downloaded. I'll be downloading the bundle, but just to show you all the portrait, landscape, and bundle files come in a zip format this year. You will first need to unzip the file. To do that, just tap on it and a folder will appear with the same name. In the bundle version, you can choose between portrait and landscape. For this video, I'm going to head into the portrait folder. In here, you will see a 2026 download library as well as a mini December 2025 download library. This file is basically just an all-in-one dashboard that lets you access everything that comes with the planner with guided hyperlinks so you can customize your layout, colors, etc. I always recommend sharing this file to GoodNotes first since it's just easier to tap on hyperlinks there. So tap on the share icon and send it over to GoodNotes. Once the download library is in GoodNotes, make sure you have read-only mode turned on so you can tap on hyperlinks to navigate through it. At the top here, you have navigation to jump to different parts of the download library, as well as more links down on the left here. To begin the guided process for downloading your planner, tap on the Download Planner button. The first step is to set up the shortcut integration for calendar and reminders, and this is a lot more simple than it looks. For the first part, you'll need to head to your iPad settings, scroll all the way down to apps, scroll down and find shortcuts, then turn on private sharing. This will let you download the shortcut that activates the integration. Go back to the download library, tap on the download shortcut button and follow the prompts. You'll be asked which application you want to use the shortcut with, and by default I've set it to GoodNotes, but if you're using a different application, you can select that here. Since I already have this installed, it's going to tell me that I have a duplicate. But once you've added the shortcut, it's done and there is nothing else you need to do. You can make sure that it's been installed by going to All Shortcuts and confirming that there is a shortcut named Good Monday's Paper. Now, anytime you tap on an add link in the planner, you will be prompted with a menu that lets you add events or reminders to those apps on the corresponding date. Please note that this is a one-way shortcut, meaning that your calendar events and reminders do not sync with the planner or vice versa. Now let's head back to the download library and continue on to step two. This is usually my favorite part since there are so many colors to choose from. We have 11 colors for 2026, including two brand new multicolor tab options. My personal favorite is Walnut, so I'm going to tap on this color. Whenever you select a color, there will be an indicator at the top that tells you what color you've chosen. This is just so you can keep track and not get lost since there are so many colors to choose from. If you choose one color for your planner and change your mind later, you can always come back here to download a different color and move into that planner. As with any Good Mondays paper yearly planner, once you've selected your color, you can head on to step three to choose whether you want your planner to have an hourly or half hourly format. This customization will affect how your weekly schedule and daily pages look. Once you select an option, you will move on to step four to choose your main weekly overview page. This year, we have four options, the classic weekly, weekly tasks, the newly redesigned boxes from the mid-year planners, and horizontal weekly. Once you select your weekly layout, you can move on to step five to select your daily page option and download the actual planner file. You can keep track of all your selections on the left here so you don't forget what planner you'll be downloading. For the daily pages, you can choose between a classic daily agenda which has a daily schedule and some other sections, a plain grid page for each day, and finally you can also select to have no daily pages. You can download the file by either tapping on Monday Start or Sunday Start depending on your preference, and it'll open to a Dropbox page with the planner file. 
On the top right, tap on the share icon and send it over to GoodNotes. Now that you've built your planner and imported it into GoodNotes, it's ready for use. Again, you can turn on read-only mode to jump through the built-in hyperlinks. Obviously, this is a portrait planner, so I would use it in portrait mode on my iPad, but I'm making a little exception for this video. If you'd like, you can further customize your planner by downloading extra covers as well as new decorative charms to decorate your covers with. Of course, the charm kit is completely optional, I just thought it would be a fun way to add more personalization and make your covers a little bit prettier. To replace your planner cover, download the cover file, which will open up to a Dropbox page just like the planner. Once you have it in GoodNotes, I recommend opening Thumbnail View here to give it a scroll through. Once you've picked one out, tap on the arrow underneath the page and tap Copy Page. Then go back to your planner file and open Thumbnail View. Under the main cover, tap on the arrow then add page after and paste page. If you want to delete the old cover, tap on the arrow and move to trash. Then repeat the steps for the back cover. The planner charm kit is basically just a pack of stickers, so it comes in GoodNotes elements as well as individual PNGs. The elements file will be downloaded straight to your downloads folder from earlier. Now there is a known bug where if you just send the collection file to GoodNotes, it'll come up with an unsupported file type error, even though .collection is a native GoodNotes file. A workaround is to just go into GoodNotes, open Elements, scroll to the end, and tap on the plus sign to create a new Elements collection. Then choose Import From and select the .collection file from your downloads folder. This imports it without any issue and you can create the new collection. Alternatively, you can download the PNG version, which comes as a zip file, so make sure you go to your downloads folder to unzip it. Inside, you will see all the individual charm files, which you can use with other applications if not GoodNotes. You can really spend a while decorating your cover since there are over 250 little stickers that you can mix and match. The bead chains and rings are pre-cut to fit the elastic band. Everything else you can just size it however you'd like. So I hope you have fun personalizing your covers if you decide to! Next to download are the actual stickers for the planner. We have everyday labels in 10 colors as well as new hand-drawn stickers with animated coffee mugs. These files are exactly the same as the cover charm kit so just follow the same steps. One thing to note is that the elements files for the everyday labels come as a zip file because each color has its own collection, so make sure you unzip it in your downloads folder before importing it into GoodNotes. Last but not least is the home screen shortcut for your planner. Back on the covers page in the download library, you'll see an option to download matching icons for each cover. Once you've downloaded the file, unzip it in your downloads folder and you'll see a folder of little home screen icons. Next, you want to go to your planner and rename it to something you can recognize, like 2026 Planner. Then, go to the Shortcuts app, tap on the plus sign on the top right to create a new shortcut. Scroll down here to find GoodNotes, tap on it, and tap on the Open Document action. On the left, a new action will appear and you can select the document that you want the shortcut to open. Make sure you also search for the Nothing action and drag it on top of the existing GoodNotes action so it stops any shortcut notification banner from appearing. I also turn off the Show and Run option underneath the GoodNotes action. Then rename your shortcut to 2026 Planner. On the right side, tap on the information icon, then add to home screen, select image, choose file, then locate the folder in your downloads and select the icon you want to use. Once you're satisfied, tap on add and it will appear on your home screen and you can drag it to wherever you'd like.
If you purchase the 2026 Weekly Diary, all the steps are essentially the same, except the diary only has two colors and two layouts to choose from. It also has a different set of stickers, which are still GNOTES Elements files, but the instructions are all the same. So that is the setup guide for the 2026 Digital Planner. Thank you so much for your continued support over the years. I hope you enjoy this year's planner and I'll see you in the next one.